What's up SCAers? A little bonus content this week since this package has arrived. I ended up ordering from a new place called Canadian Cartel and I learned of them by looking for the Tridios uh, 2.0 Pro system for my SSG10. And actually on Tridios site, they show, they show websites that have some of their stuff in stock that they partner with. And these guys were one of them. So not only did I get some of the Tridio stuff, I got some extra stuff I saw on their site as well. This came from Canada and it was ultra fast. I can't even get stuff from Evike from California as fast as this package came. So as a bonus this week, let's do a little unboxing. And as an added bonus this week, I'm gonna use something clever to open a box. This is a dental floss pick. I'm gonna use that to open this box. This was actually something I was gonna to suggest to C7 Viper. I enjoy his videos. If you like mystery unboxes, please go to his channel and check him out. So, instead of suggesting it to him, I'm gonna use it. Let's get this box open. Oh, I thought this was gonna work better. All right. <laughs> It's, it's bending over. I'll, I'll make it work. Wow, I give you credit, C7 Viper, for the things you've been using, because I thought this was gonna puncture right through and open it right up. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's, uh... <laughs> How do you make that stuff work, bro? All right. <clears throat> oh. Go. We got it. We got it with the floss pick. <clears throat> Canada Post came Express Canada. Whatever. We don't care about that. We don't care about this anymore. Alright, what do we got in the box? First up, since I was looking around their site, I needed another radio pouch for one of my other vests. I only have one radio pouch. I don't want to switch them back and forth. Especially since I got some cool events coming up. Uh, Clip-in. That's really nice. It's really heavy duty. Uh, it says Shadow Elite. One size OD. So yeah, I got it in OD, green, of course. Adjustable radio pouch. Really nice Molly straps on the back. This should do nicely. I don't know who makes this, but it's gonna work nicely. It's really nice. I saw they had some multi-cam trucker hats for the summer. Get that vent in the back. So I got the regular multi-cam. And I got the multi-cam truck pick. You know it's the real multi-cam when they put these multi-cam stickers on here. So, really nice. I'll have to try these on later. Okay, next up, I got a Beofang, uh, another external mic. I have one already. I'm trying to not have to jump things back and forth from different vests or different battle belts. So. I picked up another one. Uh, seems pretty cool. We'll have to see. It doesn't seem as heavy duty as my. I forget. Something communication, my other one is. So, got that. Uh, oh, I saw they had this. This is by them, Canadian Cartel. It's actually a pistol stand. So I have some pistols coming up on the channel. I wanted to be able to put a stand here, set it up nice, and show it off. So I got one of those, saw that on their site. All right, before we get to the Tridio stuff, this is something I've been wanting, and it's my first time getting one. A max hop-up unit. And this is in the bronze, like the golden color, which I'm fine with. Um, comes with several different arms, 
It comes with a nice clip, um, nice spring. So you get your spring for your barrel and you get the spring on the top of the hop up. So there's many different options depending on what gun you're putting in this to make it work. So it's very universal just by looking at it. Um, we'll see when I go to put it in. I have a specific build I'm doing this and that build is a secret because I haven't launched it on this channel yet. But I will let you know, this will be paired with a 603 barrel and a flat hop system. I know I've been enamored with my new R hop system, but I just want to build a decent flat hop system to compare it to the R hop and see what the different results are. It's always good to know. So that's cool. I got the max hop. All right, guys, let's get to the Tridio stuff. Let's do the non exciting one first. <laughs> So this is an SSG24 or now SSG96 mag on loader. There's so many times where I don't use the full mag and I don't want it to sit there and weaken the spring. So I saw this and it's a really cool concept. Put this on your Nobridge bottle, press, 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 and it unloads the mags. Really cool, can't wait to use that. Second, actually this is probably the lesser of the exciting from Tridios. Um, when I go and do the next thing, I will get rid of my safety switch because I constantly hit it with the bolt and put it on safe when I'm trying to take these shots and I'm done. I'm going to take the safety off and put this dust cover off by Tridios. Okay, the main event, why I even order from these guys in the first place. The Tridios 2.0 Pro TDC system for the SSG10. I've been wanting to try this out. I've heard nothing but good results. So I will do a video where I put this on my SSG10 and then we'll see the results afterwards. I love the TDC system. I love it in my full thrust. I love it on the SSG96. Just that really fine tuning you can do on your hop up. All right, guys, that's been my unboxing from Canadian Cartel. Um, shout out to them. Really good packaging, really fast shipping. I, I mean, I can't believe how fast they got this to me. Um, all right, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys. On All right, SEAers, now that we're done with the Canadian cartel box, let's get into the Airsoft Atlanta box. And for this box, I'm going to use a Novridge M70 spring to open the box. <laughs> that should be new, I think. <clears throat> Ooh, this worked better than the dental pick. First thing is our favorite thing, paper. Okay, first up is another PTS EPM one mag in tan because you can always find tan in stock. Airsoft Atlanta sticker, which is pretty cool. I got a couple of these now. Two Titan Power batteries in beans because I don't have enough beans. We have the 3000 Maw in the dual and the 3000 Maw in the stick. So crane stock style and the stick style. Desperately needed these and they're great batteries. Next up, as you saw in the last box, I got another Max hop up unit. This is the pro style, which has the little lever um, to release the BBs that stay in the hop up. Because next up to upgrade is my KWA Ronin T10. This will be going in there and another um, Action Army 603 barrel. So with that, what I just said is another modified flat hop bucking and nub. These things work great. For $15, they work really good. Um, you put the right system together, they'll work 
better than any of your stock hop-up buckings. And the receipt. So that's it for this unboxing and the Canadian cartel boxing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions on any of the things I got, um, how they work or are they good or whatever, hit me up in the comments. We'll see you on the next one.